Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And I'm going to be working on putting my Defemerember stuff in my Defemerember journal. Which I should have enough pages. I just realized that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh yeah, 3, 4, 28 pages. Because it goes, you know, the other side too. So, I'm not putting them in any particular order. I've got my prompts up here. Um, this one I already put on because I know that'll be a tag in a pocket somewhere. I don't know what's going to go in the front pocket yet. Could be something totally, I might make a something special for the front with a defemember and whatnot. So I'm just going to find what page I like him on because see, there's yellow here. So I actually think I would like him with the yellow. Now, do I have something in here that will work as a pocket or... Actually, I'm going to make a pocket. I brought, I brought, I have to my side a bunch of extra bits that um, either I printed extra or like, yeah, I had extra printed. So I like, yeah, I've got extra bits. So I can find something here that I can tuck him into. That's not quite tall enough, but it could make it taller. Let's see. Um, oh, this might be fun. Do this kind of as a side tuck, and he'd still be showing. His face would be still be showing. Maybe that. And then I also have this strip here that I want to do something with. What? I don't know. Maybe we'll do something. Maybe we'll use this. Let's see. Let me cut off a piece. Or rip off a piece. Cut, rip, doesn't matter. And rip it off down here. And then I could make it a belly band. But then I wouldn't see, let's see, if I make it a belly band. Yeah, he would be hidden totally. We don't want that. But if I make it kind of a either a pocket in here, like that, then he'd poke out. If I make it a pocket over here, Half of him and his little piece fingers would poke out. So maybe we'll do that. It really doesn't matter which side because it's an accordion. So that doesn't matter quite so much. I just have to figure out which way I like him. Well, but I, I think I'll do it that way. All right. So, I'm going to glue, I just had my glue, it's right here. I just looked at it and didn't see where it was, and it was right where I was looking. That is the very, very sad part of me. So, I think that's about how far it goes. And then I'm just going to, I know I, oh, I got to come, all right, here's, oops. A little bit higher. Okay. And also be kind of straight. Which means, but I'm also trying to give it a little bit. I don't want to come all the way to the edge here. So that when it folds, it doesn't get bulked up. However, this piece, I might glue that piece down. So that way, um, trying to figure out if I want it to hang out in the middle there or not. Do I want anything hanging out in the middle? Or will I just cut it off? Oh, man, what the... Did you see glue spill and you're like, oh, man, Darcy, you got glue everywhere now. Did you? Did you? I don't know. My glue is like a little volcano. It just wants to spurt out and spurt out. So, uh, oh, look at that. We got a little grunge going on there. We'll fix that later. All right. Um... Let me go ahead and trim this down. And I don't mind that little bit sticking out. That's fine. And that little bit sticking out is fine. All right. I did the glue. That's why I did the glue on the... See? I was smart. I was thinking. And I'm not... I don't know if I like how that's hanging off. I just don't like it. It just not appealing to me there we go all right so yeah i've got some little collage pages over here that i can use throughout the book and i'm going to add a little more glue here 
so it stays down better and I don't need it that tall anyway. No, I don't have my glue cover in my mouth. Why would you think that? Don't put your glue cover in your mouth. That's the only way I don't lose it. That's honestly why. All right. So, you can go in there. These things are kind of poking up. I'm okay with that. It just gives it more texture, right? I do kind of wish, you know what I wish? Wish I'd remembered to ink that before I put it down. Yep, that's what I was. Oh, between the last video and this video, I did ink all my my bits and I and I backed the Kanga and Rue. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, it was just me going through all of my pieces that I made and just kind of, you know, explaining what my thinking was and the prompts and all that. So when you forget to ink something, just put a piece of paper under it and and you can hopefully, I mean, it's not doing it for me right now, but at least you're not getting it on the under page anyway. These pieces are sticking out, so I'm going to be them for a little bit. There we go. All right. So, number one is in there. Number two is a cute little... Because I didn't look at the prompts ahead of time, so I didn't realize that coin envelope was going to be two days from then. <laughs> I just made him a coin envelope. Thought he was cute. So, let's see. Where does he... So, I could just kind of poke him in this. See, number nine I already had already put on there. I didn't remember not to come down so low. Let's see. Do I have any blue anywhere? I can remember this both sides. I don't think I remember that last time. I don't think I have any blue kind of things in here. He's so cute. My client, her daughter loved giraffes. So she's got giraffes, a lot of giraffes around out and around and about. I kinda like him on this page. Now um let's see I've got that there could take one of my pieces or one okay, I've got other I've got the oh oh my word um yeah I've got this master board which has a lot of colors and pattern no that's not the same pattern but I, I think I use this on something and I've got blues and whatnot and But that might not work for that. Let's see. I've got a couple. I got three. Three boards here to work with, and also other bits. Oh, you know what? Because I can hang the envelope. I think I'm going to do a belly band across here. Is what I'm going to do. And whoops. Like this piece here might be nice. I'm just gonna rip it. And I'm gonna rip this side because you know I've used Tim Holtz pages in here, so I might want to kinda make it a little bit more on the grungy side, maybe. Um, I don't, I don't know if I want the pink. Doesn't matter. Part of it hides. I don't really have that pink anywhere in the journal. So I'm going to make this a little bit more narrow. There we go. Save that for something later. And just gotta going to cut this off just a little bit. And then I'm going to glue the two sides. I'm going to have this part on the bottom is less straight. So that will be my raggedy bottom. That did not sound right at all. <laughs> not mine. The belly band has a raggedy bottom. Oh my goodness gracious. What is wrong with me? And you've seen, I've, you know, used the, it's fairly inexpensive ledger. I got to make sure this is high enough so that when I put this in, 
he's where I kind of think that will work. So just gonna not put it in my mouth this time. Okay, just gonna do on the edges. I don't need the whole width, so I'm gonna give myself a good amount of glue there so that it will stick really well, hopefully. And put the thing on my volcano glue. And that does not look straight on that side. It does look straight on this side. So if this bothered me a lot, which it may, it may not. What I can do is, I actually know where they are today. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh, I could even take like a milk tab like that and have that stick out a little bit. I don't hate that. Do I have one that's a little bit more narrow though? Because it's a little bit. Right? Use some of these vintage items you bought for your own stuff. Oh, there. Maybe that one. Partially skimmed. I have to put this on here to see. Oh, why did I put... Oh, my word. Don't do like I did and center it after you're like, no, I got to put it up here. All right. There's a way to fix it, I'm sure. I'll just set that there for a second. Oh, my word. I'm so, did you, were you guys yelling at me? You should. You should totally yell at me when I do stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. How will I fix it, you ask? Oh, don't worry. There's always washi tape or just a little strip of paper. Anything like that. Oh, and also, I don't even need the thing on the edge now because I moved it. Well, now, well, we're going to put up something here anyway to cover that mess. Oh, and we could still put this here to cover up that mess. So now, we can just move. Oh, nope, this one. That's closer to the right cover. Plus, chocolate milk's better. The other option could have would have been to use, um, you know, I could just put a tab. Not that one, obviously, but here's some Tim Holtz ones. I could put a, you know, like, well, let's see. If I were to put a tab on here, I would just have to make sure that I don't, uh, I think, if I don't glue this part in the middle it should still so we're just not going to take that chance we're just going <laughs> to put this one on here no I'm going to glue it okay I was just thinking if I wanted to um probably should use fab if it comes off I'll use fabri -Tac. but for right now oh yeah it'll still it's fine because it's on that side and so it'll be fine I like stuff hanging off my journals. I think it adds character. I like it. So that's one way to hide a mistake. And then, of course, still have this mess over here to do something with. Washi tape, washi tape, where have you gone? Oh. I've got, oh yeah, that right there. So I'm going to. Cut that there, and maybe even a little bit down here. This is a fabric washi tape. I can't remember who whose it is. Now, I'm going to just kind of randomly cut it, and then I can decide if I want to use the big piece or the little piece. That one doesn't quite cover it, so we'll use the big piece, but I want to go, have it go to the corner there like that, and I just don't like it real flat on the bottom there. Maybe? I don't know. And this will be easier to ink while the uh, tape is still on the back, I'm assuming. And by the time I'm done have brown fingers and it'll be from the ink not anything else don't be gross let's see so I'm filming this on December 30th I don't know when it will come out because I already had a video come out today 
Uh, so the boys are home. Joel's off work today, which is nice because he's not always. I'm just coming over the tiniest bit just so it doesn't interfere with the closing of it. Yep, I think we're good. So there's like, what, like a sixteenth of an inch over here or something. And now that mess over there is taken care of. And got our brown over here, our orangey brown over here, and our giraffe in the middle. And I can make, and, 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 not annoying me either. Yeah, it is. I'm going to go ahead and glue the outside edge there, the inside edge here. And then glue that down. And then just kind of come down here like this. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And I'll put a little tag or something in there. Or, hey, too bad I didn't make him like the perfect size to fit a, um, Oh, also, see the other one had the thing. This is number two. And decide where I want to put this. I think I'll put that right there. I could back it with something if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Not this time. Maybe another time. There we go. Splatters and playing card. I consider this a game card, so you play with it. So it's a playing card. All right. You can tell I've been working in my... Now I feel like something needs to be up here. You know what? I kind of like that. Because it's... Also, it's also a playing card. But I might... Bank pays you a dividend of $50. I think I might do them at a... At a, at a quirky angle. And I'll make them a pocket in case I have any tickets or something I want to stick in there. So, uh, so that will take care of that. If I do him like that, and then I hide the that wrinkled part over there. There we go. Bank pays you a dividend of fifty dollars. Put it in your envelope. Ooh, I should put fifty. I am totally going to find not right this second. Uh, one of the Monopoly fifty dollar bills. And stick it in that envelope. And then somebody could journal on the back of it. That will be fun. Alright. See? Sometimes I have cute ideas. Well, to me it's cute. Now we have our bright colored card. And this... I've, I've loved him since like 2019 or 18. Some, some, somewhere around there. I've loved him. All that. And we have the pink here. Do I want to put him on the front? I don't know. I do have a little pink over here. Um, the tiniest bit of something there. We got our damask over here, which is kind of nice. Let's see. We have a big pocket on the back. Oh, we've, he's got a black hat on, and that's kind of dark. That actually could work. Also, with the yellow there, because there's yellow here, would also work. Also, that's kind of sculpture-y and arty. There or there works, too. See, who knew he would work in so many places? But where do I... don't want him on that page. That's all I know. Alright, so... I have other things that have bright yellow in it, so... I think I'll put, put him here, maybe. Now, how... I think he's... whoops. He's got good writing space on the back, so... Uh, he's number three, which was brightly col bright color and journaling card. And of course, the, he, the penguin was the, the thingamabib, thingamabob. Now, how, what do I want to make for an envelope? This right here might make a fun envelope. I don't want the front though, I want the back, which is fine. I can cut up an envelope, it's okay. It's actually this part of the envelope that I want. That. Oh, I mean. Okay, good. I keep being like up at the top of I like I'm too close, I guess, is part of the problem. So I keep being at the top of the screen. Oh my goodness, why does it take so long? Just put in three tags. This is supposed to be like a quick, fun 
video. All right, I like this part here, but also that part. Let's see. He would still mostly show. We've got some of that perp. See this part here. Um, will that hold him in if I just use that part? Kind of, sort of. Let's see. Got all kinds of stuff over to the side here. You never know what you're going to find on my desk. Um, I also have an envelope here that I backed one of my things with. Which could back this with. Just cutting off a random bit of This purpley bit here that I think I really want. I like it going that way. Um, where oh where could something that I can cut with straight be? Just want to straighten that out. Because it's pretty wonky. Okay. Yes, I got myself a small guillotine, guillotine, guillotine cutter. As well as the larger one. Let's see, and then here, I could put this on the front here or on the page or just on... If I'm going to keep him like that, I might do him on that on the back though. Alright. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Aren't you guys glad you don't have my crazy brain, which sometimes has too many ideas? Let's see. I got this paper from, oh, I'll have to link, is an Etsy shop. I think she's out of Hong Kong, but she had some fun stuff for good prices. And I got the free shipping, and of the three things I ordered on the same day, hers came second. So that was a little surprising. It's a boho, boho chic. But wait, what's the bullet journal? Bujo. It might be B U J O, like bullet journal. Ooh, that's kind of fun. It's got kind of a grid pattern on there. And see, he's got the nice white belly. So, gonna, will it tear? No, because guess what? Those are little strings. So let's just do. We got all the ripped. That's okay. We can still do a um something that's not ripped with something that is. You can do that. You can do whatever you want. It's your creations. You could do what you want. Okay. And I'm going to take this piece and do a little something with it. See, we've got, see this has like all the colors. It's got the pink and the purple and some gold. This has the yellow and I don't have orange, but that's okay. We could bring some orange down here. That is an orange orange. It's a pretty orangey orange, orange, orangey orange, like a ripe persimmon maybe. Nope, not a ripe persimmon. Well, our other options would be Crackling Campfire. Yeah, Crackling Campfire might do it. Okay. And then I've got some... Let's do this one. The bold letters. Let's be bold. Be bold with your art. There we go, just getting some 
stuff on there. So now when I put this and this on here, there'll be a little something back there. And also I'll ink it. And uh, probably, I always, this thing's falling apart, but it looks fine. That's also why we don't tend to change those. <laughs> like, But it looks fine. I mean, it's shedding like crazy, but it looks fine. <laughs> I've got some that I could put in there easily. Okay. Do I want to ink the white? Yeah, I might. Do I want to ink it in this color, though? Or do I want to kind of double ink it, maybe even? Well, this will make it a... This has got brown on it, I think. But I'm just going to do a little... Orange on here. Oh, you know, it might be fun though. I know, I was gonna leave it white, but you don't have to. And now some of the lines show up a little bit more. And I'm still gonna ink it with the coffee as well. That's double inking. You can ink with a color, two colors. I mean, one can be a neutral and one can be a color. You do what you want. Do what you want to do. See, now it doesn't stand out quite as much. But that's not the one I want. But that's alright. Just. Alright, anybody know? Oh, yeah, I did want to go this way, didn't I? I'm okay if that pokes up a little bit, too. And don't need to make it a pocket. But I still might, just because I might have a tag or a ticket or something I want to poke out of there. Uh, let's see, where'd my, this is number three, I've lost my number three, this is, I had, oh, here they are, bright color journaling card, so I could, maybe I will, put this here, should I, yes, no, maybe so, I mean, because this is my defend remember, I don't have to, I think I will, all right, now, I'm going to glue this side all the way down, and then just kind of, I'm going to leave where my finger is, just leave that open a little bit so that this can still kind of be a pocket, kind of, sort of. And for the prompts here, I just printed out the one that uh, Barbara and, did I mention that? I mean, I see, I assume everybody does, the Barbara and Louisa had available for people. I just think everybody knows about Defember Ember, and I forget that some people don't. Defember Ember was a December ephemera in December collab with Barbara of 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. Oh my goodness. That's not going to come up now, is it? Okay, so the only thing that's going to make that not make me crazy is if I find something and go this way with it. Like what? I don't know. I don't know what. A label maybe. But I did not realize I was putting that on so freaking crooked. I had no idea. Let's see. I don't want to put a number four because this was number three so that wouldn't make sense. I've got other labels laying around here. Oh my goodness, this, this series is going to take me forever if it takes me half an hour just to do three. That's not the whole pile. Hold on. Alright. Um, that's not going to work. Um, like maybe... problem is I just put my thing on there and oh I know what I can do and I'm picking that color because that's the color of the brush so I'm going to find a pencil or something resembling a pencil oh sorry I just touched the microphone I'm my brains not braining so I want to cut it there and, oh, I can't see the other side of this. Oh, and there. Oh, you know what? We'll just come over a little bit, maybe. 
And there's no eraser on that. Oh, I know where there's an eraser. Did you know they sold these things? It's just like a eraser pencil. Isn't that cool? Now, if you do a lot of doodling or design stencils and pr uh, write them out first, then, all right. I need to make sure, there we go. I think that'll work, okay. So I'm cutting it here and here. Which, which, which cutter does that? Okay, I'm not the only one that uses a uh, menagerie of cutters. I am happy or not happy to say there's more than one of us. So, where's my line? That's my line, right there. And so, I'm putting my pencil marks on that line there. Okay, this is where the hard... Okay, and we're just going to hope that works. I didn't know that I was going to cut it crooked, so I wasn't able to layer it underneath, but I can put it like that, and it looks like it's underneath. Now, do I still want to make that a pocket? Do I even care anymore at this point? Okay. I might. I'm just going to glue this side here, and then this end over here. And then put it way to the end here. You know, Stephanie, you're probably the reason that I was able to think of this. Because you do those tags on the corner of the page uh, that you cut that look really cute. And so that's why I was probably able to work that out. See? Oh, saved by another crooked piece. Say, I'm telling you. Just... And that's how things get made at my house. Fixing mistakes. How many mistakes did we have today? All right. Well, 32 minutes. I'll go. I'll, I'm already past where I'd have to merge the video. So I'll go to about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We'll see. Well, out to five. How's that? Five. And there's going to be freaking five videos. I wanted to do all this on camera with you, but I don't know. That, I don't, I don't know. Do you really want that? Is that, is that how you want to spend your life? I don't mind the orange across from the burgundy. Let's see. See, recycled. So he's kind of cute on the... He's cute everywhere. Because, I mean, come on. he's. We have this here. So I don't want him... To, so I probably want him on the other side. Um, so I already have... Put him across from the yellow. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Four. See, this reminds me of a manhole grate. So, what if the turtle goes down in the, or a turtle, or a turtle shell? Oh no, he's, he brightens up that page quite a lot. Do I want it to be brightened up that much? I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to do the exact same thing I did before with the giraffe, which is a coin envelope. Um, I don't have a lot going on, although that is cute on the back. See, I make things cute. That's the problem. Oh, look, that fell in there. Um, oh, and by the way, this page, that's the, uh, the background is a freebie. I think it's a freebie on my Facebook group. Maybe, maybe not. If not, I can make it one. Because that's my doodle in my background. So there's nothing, there's nothing I couldn't share about that. The turtle, on the other hand... I couldn't share him. I'd have to put a different picture on it. Like, I could do this. Um, this uh, background here. It's just the turtle I would have to change. Uh, I'm going to glue this together. Yes. I don't know why I didn't already glue Because I wasn't sure. Probably totally sure if I wanted to um, make it, like, open up to write in. Is maybe why I didn't fold it yet. Now, if I had put him sideways, then I could put this on this way, but why are people honking? Rude. Of course, you don't have one. 
What if I, oh, not there. Let's see. If I put him patch over the top, then he becomes something. No, I don't like that. Oh, what I could have done before I glued that, I could have attached him that way. That way he could come down and you could still right behind it. And that would have been an idea and put something in the envelope. But also I could just give him a, uh, all right, he's number four. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Recycled art, which is the turtle is recycled art. And the animal was turtle and coin envelope. See how he's got really literal on some of these. Why are people honking outside my house? In the county where I live, it's actually illegal to honk unless it's an emergency. I looked it up one time because the people across the street um, used to have people come and pick up their, one of the people there would come get picked up all the time and they'd honk. And I'm like, there's got to be something wrong with this. That's got to be wrong. I just know it does. I looked it up and it was. All right. Um. Oh, how did that happen? That's probably because of that. All right, let's see. I could just put that on there and make it a little tuck. Oh, see? He, oh, I have to have him on that side or he's looking off the page. I, that's my issue. It's totally, totally my issue. Yeah, I'll put him over here. Uh, but I think I'm going to have him flip out. But how am I going to do that? You ask. Either washi tape or... I've got some strips of paper here, which I could then just, ooh, that is almost the same color as the paper. That's, which side do I want to show? That's the question, this side maybe. So, just folding that in half, and yes, I'm going to ink it a little bit, I think. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Dad was looking for a paper clip. Would you I've got a bunch, but do you think they were right where I could find them? I mean, there were these, but I'm like, you don't want a rusty one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Alright, we were working on the turtle. So I'm just gonna glue this. Okay, probably should have put the cover on my glue in between here this little piece of paper down here get it on there in my camera yes yeah, good and then that's folded over well it was kind of straight but oh well and then I'm gonna glue that oh good and then just gonna Put him right on there. Kept my cover up so I don't accidentally... Oh, shoot. Guess what? He has to be right to the edge of that. Okay. Otherwise, he stops himself from being able to flip. And then I could put a piece of... Of course, it's crooked now. What the heck? Um, I may end up putting a piece of washi tape there at some point. I even have some grid... Washi. It's right here. It is. Oops. That's not quite orange. That's not the right blue. I don't have yellow. That's not the right green. My goodness, how is it? My washi doesn't work. None of it, none of this, none of my, uh, maybe that one will be not too bad. Just, I just need a little piece. Just so that I can, and I might not even put glue on it. That way, if I don't like it, I can come back later. I'm just going to fold that over. And I can take it off later if I don't like it, because it's just washy. So there, now he flips open. Something can go in the pocket there. And I could even write on the back there if I wanted to. I can do whatever. All right, next is number five. No disassemble Johnny Five. Now this is one of the bigger ones. And also, did I mention it was one of the most popular? 
I may just put it on the page as a pocket on one of the pages. Um, yeah, this had the most likes. So, I mean, that could end up being the one on the front since it had the most likes. This one has flowers over here and bees like flowers. That's not the only page I have flowers, though. Let's see. Oh, there's flowers there. I know. He looks good everywhere, doesn't he? I kind of like him with that background. I could just stick him in that pocket. There we go. Number five. I need to put his thing on him. Number or sentiment and ticket. And you can kind of tell what the animals were. I did wait for the videos to come out and did the same animals. Uh, if I were going to do a video every day, I would not do that. I would, I would do my own uh, third prompt that is the, you know, we don't know what it's going to be until somebody says. All right, so there are the first five. Let's see. Yeah, 40. I'll do a six one because if I, if I do six, I can get it down to four videos instead of five. Or something close to that. All right. Uh, number six is, oh, Dumbo. He just needs, he's bright and colorful. I want to spread the bright throughout the book, though. And also, he's got some nice gray. I kind of like him here. And I'm going to put him on as a tuck spot. We'll see if they all went this fast. I would get done fast. <laughs> I like to leave um, a, an edge border around my tuck spots and pockets sometimes not always but sometimes it's just I don't know I just like to so that's feathers and bingo card and I might even just stick it there and then if something goes in the pocket it'll hide it but that's okay so when you take something out of the pocket you can see it <laughs> so there's that so that was day six and day seven was the loaded tag that's what I'm putting in the back pocket that's what I was gonna put in the back pocket was a loaded pocket now that that's been and I've got other things that go in these pockets but that's going back there so you mr. butter mr. bees no. No. I have issues where I can't even put might be somewhere. That's interesting. Do I have anything that's going to go good on that page? Oh, I actually might. Okay, or opposite that page. All right, I think I'm going to put him, them here, uh, across from the, here, but I need a pocket. And so I'm going to do something so I still see a lot of the thing. Hang him above. What do I have that I don't have to back? All right, that is. Will that work? That's not bad. It'll work. It'll be fine. I'm going to. This is on cardstock, which means I don't have to do a lot to it. And going with the uh, the grunginess by ripping it. Maybe I'll decorate it later. I don't have to decorate it right now. That seems to be what's taking a long time. <laughs> Alright. And then with an, with an accordion journal, that's another reason why you might want to take your tuck spots in your pockets and give them a little bit of room on the edge. So that it doesn't, you know, it's just, you know, there we go. Number five. And then, do I want to give him a um, I think I do. But, oh, crumbs. I just drop these everywhere. Do I have anything in here that is kind of that yellowy? That's a little too yellow, but and something is a little brighter yellow than you want. You just take your ink and get your ink, your edges inked a little bit darker. 
and then in the middle just ink it a little bit more and now it's closer how you like them apples this was just a painted piece of index card that I cut out with my and now we have the yellow the gold yellow the gold and up here three now we have our triangle yay for the triangle if you are new to art you might be wondering what the heck is she talking about a triangle well if you take three colors or three elements that uh, and then you know you Make them into a triangle now this is kind of a weird triangle but you know it's still still good and it brings your eye around because the triangle is usually you know this would be here 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 so your eye kind of goes around the tag i don't know something like that oh good it didn't make it too <laughs> too tall so and then we had our stuffed tag in the back which is not stuffed right now it was <clears throat> but it's stuffed with stuff like this and this and I had it stuffed earlier and this just little labels and tags and stuff and then I also have some actual tags that I had in here I think so loaded tag that goes in the back pocket because it's bulky and that way it's not bulking up the middle so much Number eight, I think we can do number eight, which is the same as this guy up here. And I think I'm just going to make him a pocket somewhere. But I might have to cut it off just a little bit. Um, he does brighten up this page. Or I could make him sort of a belly band too. I like this down here. I like that one. Let me see. Let me try all right, I'll make him a belly band right there. That's it. That's all I'm going to do with him. Got to find number eight. Did I put number? Oh, I didn't put my label on number seven. I'll do those. I don't have to do those on camera. I will add something to it. All right, I want to go all the way to the edge there because I want to make sure there's room for this to fold over here. So this was number eight. If you didn't see my video where I was showing these, five plus three is eight. So that's where the eight comes from. And it was stamp dangles. So I made the stamp dangle from a chain. All right, that was number eight. Number nine is already in here. He's in there as a little tuck spot. And then number 10 is just this little, you can journal in there. And he's just gonna tuck in somewhere. Um, except I kind of. I don't oh I don't want him to eat the baby so he can't go over there let's that's not weird at all <laughs> oh he's deep and dark and we've got that yellow and that yellow so you know what I'm gonna do oh, you know what I don't want to do I worked so hard to make that I don't want to like glue that down because then it won't show um so yeah, I just need a little pocket or something for him. That's kind of dark, but it kind of might work still. Let's see. That's the kind of the benefit of using pieces. But printing on cardstock means I don't have to back as much. Let's see. Let me... And then I also used pieces that were used on other tags and whatnot. So, gonna just glue this, make it a tuck spot there. Or, no, oh, there's not really enough to glue up around the edge. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Because there is a little bit of lighter bits that show there. So, and I just left that tag corner. Was that could just add a little bit of interest and he's you know pretty short so he'll and then he still shows because i really love that owl i got him on dreams time and i was making some stuff for someone that was making a journal oh the bunnies the bunnies have to fight well, uh, uh 
Oh, you know, the book and the movie. Oh, I can't even remember the name of it. They go to war. Sort of. I don't know. My dad likes the book. Watership Down. That's why, because it has nothing to do with rabbits, the name of the... And number 11, we have our... Oh, I should put that with the recycled. Where's the recycled turtle? Well, because it's like sludge. And so, yeah. All right. Um, Didn't I make a... He could fit right there. I know. He could peek out at the top. He's fine. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll put my labels on in a minute. And number 12 is the bunny. I would want him to show a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make him... Oh, but I backed him on nice stuff. Um... <sighs> Let's see. Ooh, I don't mind him here or here. I like him with that behind him. So he just needs a pocket. He or she. Um, let's see. What can I use as a pocket? Uh, a lot of these things I could use as a pocket. Like, I could use this as a little tuck spot. I could build on it. And add, like, some calendar behind him. And like that and then that would make a little tuck spot that'd be kind of fun a little collage tuck spot I threw that so I glued that one on the top and then I'm gonna glue the bottom of this oh I should have saved it oh well Try to make it straight. I don't have the glue cover in my hand and my mouth now. And I have it a little bit off. Well, I'll try to make it a little bit so much for that. I have them I have them all offset a little bit. Which is a little bit more interesting. I thought that was straight because that line looks straight, but now it looks crooked to me and that's gonna all right, so now I will just go here and here. Whoops. And I think I'll go down this long one, too, just to give it a little bit more stability. And then we have a nice little collage tag happening. Collage pocket. And he's peeking out. See, I wanted him to peek out. That was the important part. He's number 12. See, all my pieces have just all gone to far away 11 uh, 12 oh my word 25 23 they're all oh my goodness 24 17 9 15 12 oh my word I'll probably just put it on the back that'll be the easiest that way if I move him to another place he still has his prompt on him. My word. There we go. All right. And then I could put a word or a picture here. Um, well, this is not the color I'd want, but see, wouldn't a flower look really cute there? Do I want to put a tab on him? Yeah, I think he's fine the way he is. Okay, that was number 12. So we're about halfway done. Good, I can keep get this down to um, two, two videos. So I will do 13 through 25 in the next video. And I hope you all have a delightful day. Love you.